little dogs on the show today up for adoption, yeah. starting with little Poncho. I mean, we, we're not giving anybody an excuse not to get an animal I because know. no matter what you want, we've got it. So this little guy is Poncho. He's a dapper dude with his little bow tie. <laughs> He's from Best Friends here in Los Angeles. He's a Chihuahua. He is eight years old. He's only about 10 pounds. So he'd be great in a home or an apartment setting with kids, without kids. Um, he does have a slight heart murmur, which is very common, especially with smaller dogs as they get older. So he takes some supplements and meds for that, but certainly not a big deal. Just something you want to watch every year when you go for your vet checkup. He was at the LA Auto Show with Best Friends Animal Society. Aww. He was one of their adoptable dogs. He was there for three days and he did excellent. So he likes all people, all kids, noise, commotion. He's one of those oh, that doesn't good. get spooked easily, but he's a pretty mellow guy and also likes just sitting on your lap. So yeah. he is available at bestfriendsla.org. He's ready to go play now. But yeah. he, again, <laughs> is Poncho and he is ready for his forever home. Aww. Also remind us about Lowrider from Tucson, Low Arizona. I love the term Lowrider. I came up with Lowrider for the American Rescue Dog Show as a category because Lowriders are exactly what you think. They have those little little <laughs> legs but the big bodies. So he's available in Tucson, Arizona. He's a Corgi Border Collie mix. She, excuse me. Um, she is three years old. She's got those big ears and those short oh little legs. Goodness. She had a litter of puppies. They were all adopted. And as that tends to happen, the mommies oh. get left behind. She's leash and house trained. She likes to read as you can see there. <laughs> That's oh, my that friend's so daughter. Cute. And she also loves playing fetch, snuggling, and kissing. kids, Aww. and kissing. She might be a little much for a little, little kid, but you know, four, five, six, That's seven years old, she'd be a great, great friend. And oh she can goodness. be found out in the arms of angels dot rescue groups dot org again tucson arizona for that little low rider oh my so cute. i thought you had to be crazy not to want these two little pups I mean, they are seriously. so adorable and as always if you guys want more information on how to adopt pets featured mm -hmm. on our show you can go to hallmarkchannel.com or savedbythel.com that's yes, right yes yes all right larissa now let's talk about because as ali said the temperatures are dropping across this country, yeah. even here in Los Angeles. It's it is freezing here today. Yes. So you have some great products for us today that can keep our pets warm. Yes, and play everywhere is cold right now. And speaking of lowrider in Tucson, Arizona, I used to live in Tucson. I thought Tucson's a desert. It's freezing at <laughs> night, so no matter where you are, it is cold right now. And yes, it's very important to keep your dogs and your cats warm and protected. A lot of people think since they have fur, they can be left outside and they're fine. No. Yeah, they can be left outside to a certain degree, right. but not in the freezing yeah. temperature. So first, let's talk about their paws and their pads. Okay. I have a okay. great, great project product called Cumi Dog Boots, and our producer actually uses them on her dog, who's 13 years old. We have some video to show you, and what they are is they will help with paw protection from hot or cold weather. I know these. These are They're great. They're great. They use Velcro. They have the reflective <laughs> strip, so if it's dark out, <laughs> you can see them. They are um, anti-skid. They help with traction. Something I really want to talk about is. This dog is 13 years old, and our producer uses these Cumi dog boots inside with this dog because the traction. Yep. It helps with mobility for dogs who have, who are older, yeah. who have arthritis. So not only can they protect you from the heat and the cold, they're also great for different uh, things like that. Um, Sasha, my dog, she was 17 when she finally passed away, but at the end she couldn't uh, use her back feet either, so I used to use them so she didn't rub her feet raw on the exactly. front she would drag her feet. Exactly. They have multiple uses. I highly recommend them for yeah, the weather and very again, good. for safety and comfort. Yeah, and like you said, even in the summer, um, my dog Owen overlicks his paws yes, from irritability, thing, yeah. from all the allergens, and so it's really great for that too. It really is. And it keeps your house clean if they wa use them outside <laughs> and then true. you take them off. You know, it's just like people. <laughs> and then we also have a heated kitty bed, which, mind you, is not just for kitties. If you have small dogs, they like it too. Now, this is great for stray cats. A lot of feral colonies that happen in different, you know, areas of yeah. town. If, if you have that, put it outside let me show you some video our uh, friend emma who works here used it with her dog oh and this is the k and h heated kitty house it has a bottom la la layer if i can speak that you can see there you can plug it in it heats up but not overly hot it's uh it, it heats up to your animal's body temperature there's two different entrances oh, it's water resistant you can use it inside or outside like you just saw and it's really helpful for either your animals if they're out for a little bit yeah. or you know feral cats but I will say, please keep your animals inside.
inside if you do have, a, you know, a cold, cold climate. It's not good to keep do them outside. Outside, you have to plug it in, though? Yeah, well, it doesn't have to be plugged okay. in, but if it's inside, it can be plugged in and heat up. If it's outside, it still creates that insulation because sure. of the two different openings. When I go home to my mom's house for the holidays, like, and I see some of the cats in the neighborhood, oh you want to, like, take them all in, and I you can't. Know. You just can't. And it's so true. And having something like that you can do to help, I like, know. It's so I know, it's nice. so true. There's so, so many feral cats in Virginia, too. Yeah. I was just back there. Everywhere. My friend brings them all into her house. <laughs> That's what I, I was know. doing. I mean, <laughs> has so many cats. I know. I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, I have to feed them. So, remind us about the Winter Warriors project yes, that we talked about cold. before the new year. Yes, yeah, so you may remember we were on, me and my friend Debbie, who are part of this Winter Warriors group, and right before Christmas, you guys were amazing and gave us so many donated blankets to bring to the shelters here in L.A. and the surrounding areas. And over the past week, that is exactly what has happened. They have gone to all the shelters. Oh, you can see the doggies are enjoying them. It brings them so much comfort. They, these are animals that are stuck in these concrete cells 24 hours a day for however long it takes. So just having that little fluffy comfort mm -hmm. means so much to them. And we've now been able to give out 17 40 blankets, so that's 1,740 oh blankets, wow. 540 beds, 225 pounds of treats, and 50 toys, those big durable Kongs, which give them something to do because they need that mental stimulation. But we can continue to oh, donate please to Winter Warriors, do. Right? Winter yes. Warriors, I have it all on my website. Please donate financially. You can send us stuff or go to your local rescue or shelter and do the same thing. doesn't have to come from us. Anybody can do it, but hashtag Winter Warriors online. Oh. Take a Best. Yes. Oh, thank Seriously, you. everything that you do. And uh, she said, for more information, you can go to hallmarkchannel.com or check out Larissa's website at savedbythel.com. And thank you, Poncho. Yes. You did